I'm Dr. Angela McBrady of drflute.com, and today we're practicing through the Kohler Etudes. This one is the Doll's Waltz, which in the book is number two, and it's Opus 66. So the Doll's Waltz is a really beautiful, lilting waltz. Uh, the tempo is a valse, it says, and it's lento. So generally, when we're practicing, we think of waltzes. We're going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But this waltz is a lento. So when you approach it, you're thinking a much slower, slower feel to it. It still is in one, but it's a pretty slow one. Now, the first thing I did was I went through and marked all the cadences. Polar is very consistent with his phrase length. So if you look through or play through, you'll see that every eight bars, you have a cadence. Almost without fail, there's a cadence every eight bars. So you can go through and play it and feel and count as you're playing and feel, oh, does this feel like a cadence? The first one appears here. I will play it to the cadence. And you don't count these three pickup notes as a measure. So when you're thinking and you can't find the cadence or you're not sure, you count the first full measure as the first measure, not the three pickup notes. So now I'll play to the cadence. That's your first phrase. And it kind of ends with a question because we're, I'm going up to that high E. It doesn't feel like that's the end. We want to end on a G, not on an E. So that means your first phrase is a question. The second phrase is going to be the answer. much more like, oh, phew, got to the ending. It's, it's a relief uh, when you get to that second cadence. So you don't want to stop at the beginning. Now, let's go back and talk a little bit more about what is happening in this beginning. I like to really think that it's very lilting. You're just moving up and down these little runs as if you have a bit of a, bo a ball maybe in a uh, concave hill. And that ball goes a little bit faster as it goes down and it pulls back a little bit as it goes back up the other side. So when I'm thinking that, just ever so slightly, I'm picking up the tempo as I go down and pulling back. Now if I had a metronome on, I want my measures, my one, to always be one, two, and three, and one, two, to be there. But in the middle, the two and three can be pushed and pulled ever so slightly. I also like to pull that first note. So when I do the pickup, I want to pull that note. And then I'm hanging on to that dotted quarter there, and I do it again. And perhaps I'm building a little bit. I'm getting just a bit of a crescendo as I go through here. Another point to uh, look at is it says con eleganza, so with elegance. And an elegant dance is never going to be wickedly fast. It's going to be nice and lilting and slow. As you get into measure four, you're ending on that A, we change. So again, if you look, watched my first practice with me, the Kohler Etudes, the swing, he likes to do twos. So we have two groups of this. And then he's going to change it a little bit. And this part. That is now a new little section within this eight bar phrase. When you're coming up to this, 
and he does repeat this little grouping. You're going to do it again, and I'll show you that in a second. I like to think of this. That's the pickup into measure five. I played just four notes. And then the pickup into measure six. Pick up into seven. And then you're just going to arpeggiate up to the E. So when I hear those four little notes, ya -dee -da -dum, da -dee -da -dum, I want to bring that out a little bit. I, the other notes aren't as important as hearing those connect. So let me play them now together. Now I'm going to do really the same thing again, just with a, a few different notes. That's the end of my second phrase. Now we're going to continue along the same vein, pulling out those notes, pushing down as you go down, pulling back a little bit as you go back up. And new phrase. So you can tell we're getting done with this section because it, it has more of a concluding feel to it when you get to the last four measures. Say pick up into 20 measure 25, 26, 27, you have that hold and then you play the ending. Okay, now we have sort of a B section. You're going to change it a little bit. I like to get a little bit more dramatic in here. Uh, you're going to have a, your articulation is just a little bit more solid and steady. Not too staccato-y, but stronger. So let me play that. So it's a stronger section. I'm going to think about it being a little bit more of a forte, a little stronger tongue through here. You could also play around a little bit with some fortes and pianos. I could do this. Softer. And then crescendo. Crescendo again, so start softer. And then I come in here still strong. I like to do this one soft. And then strong or at crescendo. Again, and I'm going to come back in strong. And now we're going to get into a little bit of a transition. So that's your B section. It still is a straight uh, eight bar phrase. You're really doing groups of two. Sometimes it's two measures. Sometimes it's groups of four measures doing a question and answer again. All right, we are down to measure 52, okay, as we start the transition back to A. And uh, this says forte, there's a little bit of a crescendo in there. I like to do those both pretty strong and full. But you can play around with it and see what you like through there. I'm going to start at measure 56. So in measure 58, you're coming down chromatically. And you're starting forte, but then to get back into the A section, you're just going to back off a little bit, make it a little more, more lilting, and come back in with your opening section again. All oh, just really beautiful, thinking of that doll's waltz at a lento. So I'm going to start back at 58. I'm going to pause before I do those three pickup notes.
which would be into measure 62. just like the beginning. So in 75 and 76, I really pushed the tempo and I pulled back in 76. Pick up into 78. There we go, measure 85, that cadence point is setting us up for the ending. And then you have your nice, beautiful, lilting high G, which of course is not a great note to play, nice and soft. But that's how I would practice through the Doll's Waltz on the Kohler Etude. Have fun practicing the Doll's Waltz. It's a beautiful uh, etude, and the whole set are wonderful. So practice it, listen to it, and work on it. You'll learn a lot. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe, share it with your friends, and leave me a comment.